The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? PBS Studios in Conway, it's Quiz Bowl 2023. This is our third match of the day, and we are going to find out who will be our 5A Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Quiz Bowl, here is a refresher on the rules of Quiz Bowl. A quiz bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each and if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20-point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Hey. Round four is back to 20 toss-up questions. And now let's meet the teams for our 5A conference championship match between the Valley View Blazers and the Batesville Pioneers. Hello everyone, I'm Maggie Gao, senior captain of the Valley High School quiz bowl team. I'ma say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway, kind of guy. Hey Lawrence, hey Atlas, hey ladies. Hi, I'm Abigail Scott, I'm a senior at Valley View. Hi everybody. Hi everyone, I'm Connor Bradway, I'm a senior at Valley View, who dat gig'em. Okay, hi, I'm Meredith Eagle and I'm a junior at Valley View. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Jones, I'm a sophomore, and I'm not awake yet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adriana Ayala, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, I'm Isaac Henry. I'm a sophomore at Valley View. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, everybody in Virginia. Hi, I'm Caden Tran. I'm a sophomore, and I'm failing English. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Hi, I'm Jack Lee, a sophomore from Valley View, and I pause my game to be here. So, go Blazers. Hi, my name is William Crater. I'm a freshman at Valley View, and people call me the One Buzz Wonder. Hi, I'm Paige Jones. I'm the assistant coach at Valley View High School. Go Blazers! Hi, I'm Travis Crater, the head coach for the Valley View Blazers. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Luke. Light the flame. My name is Ty Bishop. I'm a senior, and I'm a certified Johnny Barham fan. My name is Dylan Story. I am a senior. I want to thank everyone watching and supporting me. Hallelujah. I'm Alexander Tenace. I'm a junior. Pioneer Nation, let's ride. <laughs> Hi, my name's Charles Stinnett. I'm a junior, and I feel like I'm going to pass out. Hi, my name's Quentin Hansen. I'm a sophomore, and thanks for all my family watching. Hi, I'm Gwen Goodwin. I'm a freshman at Baseball High School Charter, and you're not watching Disney Channel. Hi, my name's Ashley Stroud from uh, Batesville High School Charter, and thank you, Dad, for the polo shirts. Hi, my name's Braden Johnson. I'm a freshman, Pioneer Nation, back to back. Hi, I'm Taylor Bishop. I'm a freshman, and Ty forced me to be here. Hi, I'm Mylon Ho, and I'm a freshman on the Batesville High School Quiz Bowl team. Hi, my name is Noah Chaffin. I am the assistant coach for Batesville High School Charter, and I also ate breakfast this morning. I'm Mr. Grant. I'm the coach for the Batesville Quiz Bowl team. Go Pioneers! Everybody loves those introductory videos. The whole place has been smiling and laughing. Yes. But now it's time to business, to get down to business. So 5A, what can we expect from these two teams? Well, it's interesting because this is a rematch. If you missed the uh, games last year, then you won't have missed anything because it was Batesville and Valley View in the finals last year. Wow. You might have noted that when, or noticed that when the young man said back to back. Batesville's wanting to win this two years in a row. Valley View may throw a 
monkey wrench into that little deal. Uh, a couple of things about the two teams. They're both very well coached, and they're both very well prepared for this. Uh, but Valley View's got two of their team members that is in Washington, D.C. today. Oh. So we can kind of relax. We've got somebody over there with some brains. Uh, also, Batesville has played some really close matches. They've won some by just 10 points. That's one question. Wow. So you're not going to put too much heat on either one of these teams. I'm anxious to watch this. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Without any more further ado, let's get to it. So let's go over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson, and find out who will be the 5A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Round one. Well, it is good to see Valley View and Batesville back in their spots. I guess we're going to have to start naming the 5A after these two teams. Um, great job on getting here today. There are a lot of great 5A teams out there, and uh, you've risen to the top. And so at the close today, we'll have our state runner-up, and we'll have our state champion for 5A. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, team, are you ready? Okay, well, if y'all are ready, we're going to go uh, with our first toss-up question. Best known as a natural philosopher in the field of chemistry, he also authored many essays on biblical language, the limits of reason, and the role of the natural philosopher as a Christian. Identify this scientist best known for the law which describes the fundamental relationship between the pressure of gas. Tight. Boyle. Boyle is right. All right, we're going to follow that up with a math computation question. If a circle has non-overlapping central angles measuring uh, the quantity 3x plus 3 degrees, the quantity x plus 5 degrees, 60 degrees, and 140 degrees, what is the value of x? All right, Alexander. 46. No. <coughs> Caden. 38. 38 was what we needed right there. Very good. All right. In Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's 1861 poem, the speaker says, hang a lantern aloft in the tie. Paul Revere's right. Mm, judges. Nope. Uh, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church as a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, an eye on the opposite shore will be. Which Revolutionary War patriot is the speaker? Connor. Paul Revere. Yes. Sorry about that. Too much information over here, but the right amount over here. All right, here we go with number four. This protein accounts for 30% of the total protein in the human body and is the primary building block of the body's tie. Um, amino acids. No, of the body's skin, muscle, bones, tendons, and ligaments. Name this protein that the body makes less of as people age and breaks, uh, Maggie. Collagen. Collagen is the answer we needed. Very good. I'm there, I'm there myself, so I understand. I need some more collagen. This river in South Central Africa rises in Zambia and... Alexander. Zambezi River. You're right. All right, identify the gerund in the following sentence. They drove across country since she is afraid of flying. Caden. Flying, very good. All right, um, number seven. 
What is the name for a three-dimensional figure whose plane sections are ellipses? Uh, all right, William. Sphere. Sphere. No. Charles. Cylinder. No, I needed the word ellipsoid. Ellipsoid. All right, well, that's the first one we've missed in the match today, so that's pretty, pretty good, isn't it? All right, question eight. <clears throat> On Sunday, April 7th, 2023, five times Masters champion Tiger Woods withdrew from the Augusta, Georgia tournament due to re-aggravating a foot condition. What condition? <laughs> Ty. Athlete's foot? No. What condition of irritation and swelling of the thick tissue on the bottom of the foot does Wood suffer from? No answers? All right, Maggie. Flushitis? No, it's plantar fasciitis. But you were close. On August 9th, 1974, this man said, I assume the presidency under Alexander. Ford. Yes. Question 10. This American author created the three laws of robotics. A tie. Asimov. Asimov is correct. All right. Uh, number 11. At 6,684 feet. This summit in the Black Mountain subrange of the Appalachians is the tallest in the United States East. Uh, Alexander. Mount Mitchell. Mount Mitchell is what we needed. Good job. All right, math computation. Simplify the quantity x squared minus one, close quantity, divided by quantity x squared plus x minus two, close quantity. Uh, Caden. X plus one over x plus two. You're right. All right, question 13. When 17-year-old Charles Reed inherits a house and shed that is a portal to a parallel world in turmoil, he is forced into the role of hero. Name this 2022 Stephen King fantasy novel. Maggie. A Wrinkle in Time. No. <laughs> uh, Charles. The Dark Tower. It is called Fairy Tales. Fairy Tales. Y'all got to go to Walmart and start buying your Stephen King. All right, many of this German composer's best known works consist of solo pieces for piano written for his wife Clara, a virtuoso uh, Melin. No, Melan, excuse me. Schumann. Schumann is correct. Nice. Decompression sickness, also called the bends, occurs when bubbles tie. Uh, diving? No. When bubbles from this gas <laughs> form in the blood. Maggie? Nitrogen. Nitrogen was what we needed. Almost. If you'd waited one more word. All right, what is the amplitude of y equals three cosine two x? <laughs> Uh, Connor. Three. Three is the right answer. Uh, this American business magnate got his start in shipping where he gained his nickname of Commodore. But in the 1860s, he shifted his focus to the railroad industry. Identify this man who was the driving force behind the construction of New York's Grand Central Depot. Alexander. Olmsted. No. Connor. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, Commodore Vanderbilt, very good. All right, uh, clownfish. Clownfish keep anemones free of parasites. They drive away predators and circulate the water, aiding in oxygenation. Charles. Mutualism. 
Charles. You anticipated well. That's the right answer. Antifreeze, a radiator fluid additive, uh, prevents coolant from freezing and normally contains the chemical compound ethylene glycol, but when ingested is toxic to humans and animals. What safer chemical compound is used in cosmetics and some foods is replacing ethylene glycol? Ty. Acetone? No. Maggie? Glycerin. No, it's propylene glycol. Propylene glycol. And question number 20, the last of the first uh, round. Owned by the French Republic since 1995, this palace, park, and gardens receives about 15 million. Maggie. Versailles. Versailles is what we needed. Very good. All right. Um, now, well, let's recap our score. A very close game, Valley View leading 90 to 70, uh, but that's pretty exciting. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to check for challenges and substitutions and uh, head over to Christina. And uh, so, coaches, this is your time to talk to your team. Christina? Thank you, Steve. What a close match and really going back and forth. So very impressive students in this matchup. Now we're going to cut away briefly to do a bit of quiz bowl housekeeping, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more right after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. <laughs> Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. It is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS Video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries, all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS Video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Join us for an in-depth conversation about the documentary with directors Ken Burns, Lynn Novick, and Sarah Botstein. I always sang. When I got into the camp, that's what saved my life. There are millions upon millions of Jews. Well, there can't be Jews in the German Garden of Eden. Only on Arkansas PBS. Arkansas PBS offers the inspiration you need to do it yourself with a wide variety of programs to satisfy the innovator in you. From sewing to gardening to home improvement and cooking, we have everything to fulfill your DIY needs. Tune in every Saturday for your fix of DIY programs only on Arkansas PBS. where Valley View is just barely ahead of Batesville, but there's plenty of time for anything to happen. So let's get back over to the quiz master for round two. All right, uh, before we begin round this uh, round, well, uh, we uh, ha have in the game now for Valley View, Jack has come into the game. Jack, good to have you. And over here for Batesville, we have Taylor. So. Those, those two can make the difference now in this round, so we're gonna find out. All right, 
Just one question away from catching up over here, Batesville. And Valley View, your job is not to let that happen, right? Round four. Okay, so round two, uh, you have the chance to get a uh, bonus question when you get the toss up, Ryan. And you can confer. Maggie, you're our captain. And Ty, you are our captain over here. So we're ready to begin round two. The eastern of the two rivers that made up the borders of the air, uh, Ty. Tigris. You're right. And you've earned a bonus in uh, called Silent Film Stars. I'm sure you remember the old silent days before the talkies. Uh, silent Film Stars identify these from a brief description. American actor and cowboy star of 291 early westerns from 1909 to 1935, all but nine were silent films. John Wayne? No. He was in the talkies. All right, question two. Nicknamed uh, that uh, the It Girl, she embodied the full of life, independent flapper of the 1920s. Clara Bow. Yes. Okay, this Italian American romantics lead, uh, her most famous movie, or his most, pardon me, his most famous movie was The Son of the Sheik after which he died suddenly at age 31. Charles Rogers. Charles Rogers. No. And uh, this Canadian-American actress was known as America's Sweetheart and uh, Queen of the Movies. Yeah, maybe. Monroe. No, that one was Mary Pickford. And uh, the cowboy star was Tom Mix. And then the um, son of the Sheik actor was Rudolph Valentino. Okay, but you got one, and so that's uh, 15 points uh, for the group. And uh, just five points away now from Valley View. Let's see which uh, team can get the next bonus here with this toss-up. It happens to be math computation. All right, here it is. What is the expanded form of log 2xy? Uh, Caden. Log 2 plus log x plus log y. Yes. All right, so you've earned a bonus for the Valley View team called Trigonometric Conversions. Uh, you're going to get 20 seconds to answer each of these. You must start your answer within the 20 seconds. Okay, it says convert these angles from radians to degrees. Pi radians. Answer 180 degrees. Yes. Um, pi divided by six radians. Answer, 30 degrees. Yes. Um, two pi divided by three radians. Answer, 120 degrees. Yes. And uh, number four is pi divided by four radians. Answer, 45 degrees. You're right, so all four of those correct. Good job for a total of 30 points on that one question. All right, <clears throat> here's the next toss up for both schools. In the 1920s, Jamaican political activist and black nationalist Marcus Garvey predicted, look to Africa when a black king shall be crowned for the day of deliverance is at hand. Which emperor, uh, Ty. Haley Silesi. You're right. And you've earned your team a bonus called AI Assistance. 
Identify these artificial intelligence assistants from a brief description. This Amazon assistant allows the user to ask questions, carry out tasks, play music, and set alarms. Alexa? Yes. This Microsoft Assistant answers questions, takes notes, provides reminders, and helps manage calendars. Cortana? Yes. This Assistant relies on natural language user interface to make phone calls and text messages and dictate location. Siri? Yes. And number four, the, uh, this meeting assistant records, transcribes, and searches voice conversations, allowing users to skim quickly through long meetings. Zoom? No. Okay. That one is Fireflies. Fireflies. I need to get that because I love to zoom quickly through long meetings. All right, well, three out of the four, though, that's pretty good. So 25 points on that uh, category. All right, we've got one left, don't we? Let's see who can get it with this toss-up question. In this Elizabethan play, a German doctor who becomes dissatisfied with traditional forms of knowledge wants to practice magic, makes a deal with a demon. Uh, Charles. Dr. Faustus. You've earned the last uh, bonus, Charles. And it is called Arthurian Legends. Arthurian Legends. All right. Identify these people from the legends of King Arthur. This son of Lancelot is named by King Arthur as the greatest of all knights because he completed the quest for the Holy Grail. Pass. Pass. Arthur's counselor and magician, he guides Arthur to draw Excalibur from the stone and creates the round table. Pass. Wife of King Arthur who was in love with Sir Lancelot. Pass. And the son of King Arthur and Morgan Le Fay who kills and is killed by his father in battle. Pass. And I have a feeling you knew probably all of those, but a uh, little strategy going on, isn't there? So that we can have a tied game going into the lightning round. And judges, remind me of what the, do we flip the coin or do they get to pick? Batesville gets to pick because they, um, oh, they're calling the coin flip. Okay, and are y'all flipping? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ty, you get to call heads or tails. Don't do it yet. And uh, whatever the results are, that's what you'll go with, right? Heads. Heads. It is heads. So uh, y'all will pick um, first, and then Valley View, you'll pick from the other two. So right now, our score is tied at 120. And. Um, we're going to go over to Christina and Bill. Okay, well, thank you so much. So that was exciting and a little entertaining there. They actually had a, had a That's a strategy. Tie. <clears throat> so explain kind of what happened there. That's a strategy. Batesville did not want to be behind and not have any chance of picking, be the first one to pick. So once they realized they were tied, I'm going to gamble with the flip of the coin wow. and they would get to call it. It wouldn't make any difference which one called it, but what you're doing is you're wanting to pick first, and that's what baseball just won. That's a good strategy. There's a couple of other strategies in this quarter that coaches and players use. One is in the d course of having the 10 questions, you can pass okay. on a question. That means that opportunity will go to the other team because you didn't answer it. You can It will go to the other side. The other strategy is you can stall. If you stall, it kills the rest of the 60-second round and the rest of the questions. So the other team, your opposing team, won't get any chance. I have seen teams pick an area that they knew the other team was really good at and then just kill it. Wow. So they wouldn't get a chance to go through it. Neither one of these teams will stall. 
these are good enough teams, they're going to go for whatever they find. And we may see the first 60-second round run with these. These are very well uh, coached teams. Very good. well coached. Very impressive. So much going on and so much for them to think about all at the same time. So right now, let's go back to the quiz master and get ready for the next round. All right, well, welcome back here to the studio where Valley View and Batesville are at a dead tie, uh, 120 to 120. And we had a coin uh, flip, and since Batesville answered the last question correctly, they got to choose uh, heads or tails, and uh, they chose correctly. So they get to pick first from these three categories, and then Valley View, you'll have the other two to choose from. All right, you might choose the Cold War. Identify these people, places, and terms from the Cold War. Or you might prefer the human body. Identify the part of the human body to which each statement refers. And the third category is starts with an F. Identify these people, items, and terms from all disciplines, but they all begin with the letter F. All right, you have one minute to decide on what you would like. And we are going to go to a break while y'all pick. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. It's time for the lightning round. The teams have made their choices, so now let's turn it over to our quiz master for round three. All right, a very exciting game going on. And uh, we're glad uh, that we get to be here to watch. Uh, while we were at break, Batesville chose the category of the Cold War. And then Maggie and the Valley View team chose the human body. All right. One well, of the first times I've ever been in a match where they didn't choose the letter or whatever. All right. Um, Batesville, you're going to go first since you won the toss. And I think we're ready to start. Now, we did bring in Asher over here. So, Asher, good to have you. And over here, we brought in Isaac with two S's. All right, very good. And is Abigail also new? Abigail, good to have you. All right, 
Well, Batesville, we're going to put a minute on the clock and try to get as many of these as we can. They're fairly long questions, so I'll read quickly, so you'll have to pay close attention. Okay, identify these people, places, and terms from the Cold War. Chief architect of Soviet totalitarianism. His name meant man of steel. Stalin. Yes. Policy of the U.S. to to block the spread of communism. Containment. Yes. Term used by Winston Churchill to... Iron it. Curtain. Yes. U.S. policy named for a president Truman of... Truman Doctrine. Yes. U.S. program to supply... Marshall economic Plan. Aid. Yes. Uh, military alliance made up of 12 non-communist countries. NATO. Yes. Military alliance of the Soviet... Warsaw Pact. Yes. President during the Bay of Pigs invasion. Kennedy. And Kennedy. Yes. Uh, communist dictator of Cuba from 15. Castro. Yes. City in which the Soviets blockaded. Berlin. Yes. All. Right. Well, in the world of Quiz Bowl, getting uh, all 10 of your lightning round questions gives you a bonus of uh, 20 points. And uh, Valley View, it sets the bar high, but you can do it as well. All right, you ready? You have chosen the human body, and Ty, y'all be ready over here for any bounce backs that they might have. All right, Maggie, it says to identify the part of the human body to which each statement refers. Area of the throat containing the vocal cords. Trachea? No. Area between the neck and abdomen that contains the heart, major blood vessels, and lungs. Chest cavity. Chest cavity? No. Uh, muscle forming the rounded contour of the shoulder. Deltoid? Yes. Long, uh, large artery in the upper right thigh. Carotid? No. A uh, small organ that stores bile and releases it into the small Gall intestine. Gallbladder? Yes. Uh, this largest tendon in the body connects the calf muscles to the heel bone. Achilles? Yes. Glands where eggs are formed and where the Ovaries? Yes. Part of the brain that controls balance for... Cerebellum? Yes. Smallest bone in the body located in the middle ear. Stirrup? No. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, it says I can accept stirrup. Organs that remove waste and extra water from the blood. Kidneys? Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and give that to them since of the other thing. Okay. Uh, I've got that they missed numbers one and two and four. So will you have judges? One, two, and four? Okay. So a chance to pick up uh, 30 more points here, Ty. Uh, the area of the throat containing vocal cords. The voice box? No. Uh, the area between the neck and abdomen that contains the heart, major blood vessels, and lungs. The rib cage? No. And a large artery in the upper right thigh. Femoral? That is correct. Uh, the two that both teams missed, area of the throat containing the vocal cords is the larynx, larynx. And then the um, area between the neck and the abdomen that contains the heart and then other things is called the thorax, thorax. Okay, do we have any um, challenges? Yes, we will have a challenge from Batesville, and um, we're going to also ask you to make substitutions during this time, and while we're doing all of that, we're going to go back to Christina. Thank you, Steve. Wow, that's why they call it the lightning round. That was fast and furious, and uh, we are going to take a quick break. We do have a challenge, and we will discuss that and resolve it when we come back. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck. Question is, did she fall or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. 
The shootings are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Mexico is my heart. The United States is now my home. And in the space between is La Frontera. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens. Culture shock isn't a bad thing. It's the growing pains of a broadening perspective. Come grow with us. Only on Arkansas PBS. This month on Arkansas PBS. Three icons of style. Oh my God. Find ancestors who sacrifice. He lived in a cave. That's unbelievable. And survive. Four international stars retrace their family footsteps across the globe. The world changed because of Hank Williams' songs. The songs are just life. I've seen it or I've lived it. Only on Arkansas PBS. New documents are being digitized every day. And every day, the DNA databases get bigger. Sometimes the most moving revelations come from the paper trail. Sometimes some of the most shocking revelations come from DNA. I think I found out a little bit too much. <laughs> That's what makes us special. The magical way that we combine genealogical research with genetic research. And we're the first program in the world to do that. Without your support, there would be no Finding Your Roots. And without your support, there would be no PBS. Arkansas PBS is a place where everyone can see themselves, where everyone can find themselves, where everyone can be a part of something bigger than themselves. For our students, it's always more fun to include the arts when you're learning. I mean, just to have expression, to see different forms of entertainment, it always just makes it more fun. And when I heard that my mother was recording different sections that teachers were gonna see where it kind of showed her intersection between the arts and education, I was excited for the students who will get to use it in their classrooms. To target their talent and tenacity toward the top for today and tomorrow. Poetry is something that exists beyond the page and also on the stage. And so I was so happy that they followed the young poets, saw the value in it, and wanted to uh, document it. That's why everybody in the school tried to remain calm, but inside there was no inner calm. While the classroom doors were locked, we were on lockdown. Arkansas PBS is a seed that grows into a tree that branches out into fruit that can feed the world. <laughs> Welcome back to Quiz Bowl State Championships. Now, there was a quick challenge in the last round. It was recognized. It was resolved. There was no change in the score, which means we are back and ready for the final round. Let's send it over to the Quiz Master. Take it away. Round four. Well, you can see that the Batesville strategy was effective on that last uh, question, even though they probably knew uh, most, if not all, of those Arthurian answers. Um, so now we have a score of uh, Batesville 250 and Valley View 190, so 60 questions, uh, but there are uh, 20 questions left, so it's very quite doable here, isn't it, for Valley View to come back and Batesville, you want to hold on and maintain your lead. So this is an exciting one. This one will go down in the books as one of the best uh, matches we've had in a long time. That's pretty exciting. Uh, Asher's staying in the game, uh, but um, William and Jack are back, and Caden, you were you stayed in, didn't you? Okay. Um, 
Well, here we go with our last round of 20 toss-up questions. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. We're going to start with math computation. Factor the uh, polynomial 2x cubed plus 14x squared plus 24x. Caden. 2x times the quantity of x squared plus 7x plus 12. No. Alexander. 2x times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4. Yes, that's correct. And they get their five seconds to answer, so that's why I let them go ahead and do that. All right, at the Democratic National Convention in 1896, this populist... Uh, Alexander. William Jennings Bryan. You're right. I didn't even get to talk about the Cross of Gold speech. All right. Uh, in his 1874 Harper's Weekly cartoon called Third Term Panic, he addressed the possibility of a third term run for President Ulysses S. Grant by depicting the Republican vote. Ty? Nat Turner. No. Uh, by depicting uh, uh, an elephant for the Republicans and a donkey wearing a lion skin frightening away the elephants. What cartoonist is credited with giving the political parties their symbols? Maggie. Thomas Nass. You're right. All right, according to Guinness World Records, what book written by French author Marcel Proust <laughs> Uh, Alexander. Remembrance of things past or in search of lost time. There is one more choice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in French, so they're not going to hear me say the French part. All right, good job. What is the property of matter by which it remains at the state of rest or in uniform motion in the same straight line unless acted upon <laughs> by uh, Caden? Inertia. Inertia is what we were looking for. Good job. All right. What is the name for a poem that tells a story, usually in four line stanzas? Uh, Caden. Ballad. Ballad. All right. In U.S. politics, this term, which was derived from the Algonquin word meaning great man or big chief, was once uh, and you once referred specifically to a reform-oriented faction of the Republican Party that refused to support James G. Blaine for president in 1884. This term today means any independent voter. Alexander. Third party. Nope. Maggie. Iroquois. It is mugwump. Mugwump. But I like your coy better. All right, here's a math computation for you. At what point is the minimum value of the function y equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 5 located? Hi. Negative one? No. Caden? 114? No. It is negative one, two. All right. Which best selling fiction author, best known for his thriller and suspense novels, has collaborated with many other authors and celebrities, including The President is Missing with Bill Clinton. Charles. Patterson. Patterson is correct. One of the great names in our world. What number is the base of the common logarithm? Ty. 10. 10 is right. What is the term for the mistaken use of a word in place of a similar sounding one? 
uh, may land. Malaprophism? That's right. What type of distillation is used by oil refineries to separate oil into different divisions? Mm. Ty. Fractional distillation? You're right. Question 43. This city has been under the control of the Kingdom of Cambodia, the French Republic, the Empire of Japan, and at the end of the First Indochina War, it became the capital of South Vietnam. Thai. Saigon. Yes. All right, we have a timeout called, and so we're going to give, uh, I think it's 30 seconds for the timeout, but we will take a pause here while we take the timeout. Christina? We are currently in a timeout situation, and I kind of want to know a little bit about strategy-wise, why was this taken at this point? Well, again, it, like we said earlier in an earlier game, the coach wants to get somebody in, but if you'll notice on this one, the captain was signifying timeout because he was watching the score, and he's already calculated that this game's over. You know, Mount, uh, Valley View cannot get back, they can't be, win. Right. So. He was asking his coach, take note of that and put some other folks in here so that we can keep this going. They're going to win a back-to-back. -back. Wow. They may be back. And next year, I would not be surprised if Valley View doesn't come back and Bates will come back too. We've seen this before, the same matchup, and they're both very yes. good and very qualified, but they really did kind of pull away there. Yeah, may, take note. We've watched three games. This is the third game today. And Batesville was the first team to run a 60-second round. We may not see that happen the rest of the day. Absolutely remarkable, and it's been so yes. much fun to watch. So thank you. That, that wraps up the timeout, so we're going to head back over to the Quizmaster. Well, welcome back. Uh, timeout was taken, and uh, some people were moved in and out. Uh, Gwen is in for Batesville and Quentin and uh, Robert. So good to have them. And then over here on the Valley View side, Abigail's back just at the other end. And Isaac is back. Good to see you, Isaac. And Adriana's in and Elizabeth's in. All right, well, we get to see everybody play today and that's nice. All right, um, we're ready to finish up the uh, championship game here. All right, well, here we go. Hands on our buzzers. In June of 1984, she ordered an army raid on a Sikh temple in Punjab, India. Uh, Thai. Indira Gandhi. You are right. Later assassinated by those same Sikhs. All right, what is the name for the chemicals made by the body's immune system that can cause... Thai. Antigen. No that can cause sneezing, tears, or itching in it. Uh, Maggie. Histamines. Histamines is what we needed, very good. All right, this shallow southern extension of Hudson Bay located, mm. Ty. Um, pass. Okay. Um, all administered uh, by the uh, Northwest Territories, these islands uh, are in the bay, identify the bay, named for the Welsh sea captain who explored it in 1632. Maggie. Chesapeake Bay? No, it's the James Bay, James Bay. All right, number 47. Weather lore says that this optical illusion that causes a bright ring to surround the moon is a sign of impending unsettled weather. What is the name for this effect that is caused by refraction or moonlight from Robert? Halo effect? I'm sorry? Halo effect? Um, no. Um, refraction from ice crystals in the upper atmosphere. <coughs> Abigail. Corona. No, I needed either lunar halo or moon halo, and they're both underlined on my sheet, so. All right, math computation for number 48. <clears throat> in terms of pi, all this talk of pi today, 
In terms of pi, what is the volume of a sphere whose diameter is six centimeters? Uh, Alexander. 36 centimeters cubed. No. Isaac. 36 pi centimeters cubed. Yes. All right. I love to watch Maggie figure those because she doesn't need paper. She just has this imaginary whiteboard in her head. All right. Uh, number 49. This Russian composer, uh, widely regarded as one of the finest pianists of all time, uh, Maggie. Rachmaninoff. You're right. In this dystopian novel, railroad executive Tagny, uh, pardon me, Dagny Alexander. Atlas Shrugged. Right. Thank you for getting it without uh, me pronouncing it correctly. And that was the last question of the uh, 5A match. So, do we have any challenges? None here, none here. Okay, so uh, in uh, 5A, our uh, first runner-up in uh, Quiz Bowl with their 250 points is Valley View High School. And our new state 5A champion, who's also our old 5A state champion, is... Uh, Batesville with their 350 points, so congratulations. <laughs> All right. Now, another match. We have another runner-up and another champion, of course. I love that he mentioned Maggie and the way she was using yes. no paper. <laughs> she can see it right in front of her as she works it out. You, you know, the, these two teams were very, very good. and. It's a shame that the score was far apart In like that. I would have guessed if you played them again, I don't think you could have picked the winner. Yes. But congratulations to Batesville. Back to back is hard to do, yes. very hard. But I see in their team members, he's got a little program going here. He's got some freshmen and some sophomores, juniors coming up. But I also see that in Valley View. So sure. I will not be surprised at all <laughs> if next year we don't see Batesville and Valley View in Once the finals again. again. Boy, and some of those questions were answered so fast. Yes. You can get a lot of the question in. Yes. So very impressive and congrats. We will be back right after this because we will have a congratulatory ceremony. But first, let's take a moment to meet some students that we may very well see on this stage in a few years. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. 
Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Welcome back and congratulations. We have more champions to share with you. And so I am here with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. Carolyn, we've got more awards and acknowledgements to hand out. We sure do, and I'm ready for it. Uh, we have our second place team here, uh, Valley View. Where's, uh, who wants to take this? Oh, you will? Perfect for your second place. And you have a nice big check that that one can hang on the wall. You can't take it to the bank, but you will have one that can go to the bank for $1,500. And congratulations to you. <laughs> then we've got our first place team and I'm gonna give them their plaque and their check and then they get a big banner to put on the wall and they're gonna get $3,000 when the, uh, the real check gets to you. And we congratulate you, too. Now, I believe, let's see. What is his name? I believe it's, is it Alexander? I've gotta, gotta check this one here. Uh, because this was a tight, tight race. We're up to the last. And our MVP, is actually, yes, Alexander Tennis from Batesville. Where are you out here? Okay. So you get a medal and this, but let me tell you how close it was. You, you got it by six hundredths of a point. How do you think your buddy thinks about it? Because the Valley View student that could not be here today, he had you almost at it <clears throat> you, he had a, like, you had .66 or something. He had .60 and, uh, for Lawrence King. So <laughs> it was close. We also have a number of other all-tournament players. We have Silas Deal from Dardanelle. He actually beat both of you with his score, so he's considered the high point player. And we have Isaac Ternaski from Moralton. No, 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 he's P. Rich, got off the line on that. Uh, Graal uh, Pruitt from Moralton, Drew Phelps of Bologna, uh, and then we have uh, another person that's still here today, Ty Bishop, you are on the all tournament team, uh, Kadia Karim from Magnolia, and Alex Stevens from Harrison. That is our all tournament team for this group of 5A schools. Congratulations, all of you. Wonderful, well once again, congrats to all of you. Played a well, hard fought match. So impressive and so very good. So congrats to everybody here. And thank you, Carolyn, all as right. well. And I guess we also have some scholarships to award. Is that correct? We do. Okay. Yes, indeed. So we'd like for uh, Spencer Watson and our two scholarship recipients to uh, come up here. Well, they were up here, sort of, but they've got to come <laughs> to the middle a little bit more. And we will let you uh, give them their prizes. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, again, my name is Spencer Watson. Uh, it is always a thrill to be here. Um, if you squint real close at some of the archival footage you've seen earlier between games, you might see a much younger version of me uh, competing in Quiz Bowl. But uh, I'm excited to be back today representing Arkansas Friends of Quiz Bowl. Uh, we are a nonprofit uh, organization of volunteers uh, that was invited, I guess, about 10 years ago uh, by AGQBA to administer an annual scholarship uh, for students. Um, uh, we are, uh, again, a volunteer group, and um, uh, our board is made up of uh, alumni like me, uh, former coaches, current coaches, uh, as well as members of the AGQBA board to provide a lot of different perspectives. Uh, and uh, primarily what we do is we administer the scholarship by hosting an invitational tournament each year, an enormous tournament with lots of teams, high schools, junior high, even middle school competing every year. Although I would note we do have room on our board right now. If there are any philanthropic Bill Gates-like members out there that have an interest, we would welcome your attention. Uh, but primarily we fund it through the, the tournament, uh, which is really cool because it's, it's Quiz Bowl perpetuating Quiz Bowl. Um, and what we're here today is uh, share the results of that. The uh, scholarship process is uh, after the students submit their application, they names are removed and they are assigned numbers. And so the review process is completely blind. And I'm here today to introduce you to two exceptional young people who are uh, here to receive those scholarships. Uh, first is Levi Cherry of Murfreesboro High School. Uh, Levi is a six-year captain and uh, studies geography and uh, has translated that knowledge into wanting to uh, major in aviation and become a pilot, correct? So uh, congratulations, Levi. Thank you. And I'd also uh, like to introduce uh, Abigail Gonzalez. Abby is from DeQueen High School. Uh, and she came to uh, Quiz Bowl as very much a generalist, but has learned the power of specialization and uh, relying on teammates as someone who has uh, accepted a tremendous amount of, of responsibility at her home. Uh, so Abigail, uh, wherever you go and whatever you do, we wish you the best of success and we wanna offer our congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, wonderful. One more final round of applause for everybody, all the participants, and the scholarship winners. Congratulations to all of you. And that is three matches down, four more to go. Up next, we have the 3A Quiz Bowl State Championship between the Mountain View Yellow Jackets and Haas Hall Fayetteville, live right here in just a few minutes on Arkansas PBS. Don't go anywhere.